Alright guys, so I thought that I would come back to Loadout and just show you some of the customization that you can do. I talked a little bit in my previous video about customization and the things that you can do to your guns. Um, now I just want to show you an example. Now there are hundreds, if, you know, maybe even more than that, examples that I could show you. But I just want to show you one example um, and just, you know, show you what's going on really. What's going on with the game now as you can see here you have lots and lots of customization options a lot of these customization options are actually unlocked through the tech tree so if you see here the tech tree is pretty big has a lot of stuff you can unlock here as you can see i've gone down some lines and i've unlocked some stuff um, i can also go and unlock uh, different types of, of ammunition for different things i can open up different sections here as you can see um, you know, really this, this is huge. There's a whole lot I can do here, but I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to go crazy. Yeah. So, um, let's go to weapon crafting for today. If you want to see more stuff, just tell me and I will definitely show you it. I just don't want to make a like a 20 minute video for you, I want to make it 5-10 minutes max if I can. Because I know that you have more things to do than just sit and watch a video. Um, so, here is a simple gun that I've created. It's a rocket launcher. It's got um, quite a few different things that I will talk about. The barrel is heavy. Well, let, let's start here. Let's start at the stock. The stock is just standard. Now, with the stocks, you can get different stocks here. As you can see, I can just buy the stocks. They will increase and decrease certain stats. Um, and really, it depends on your playstyle, how you want to, to go about this. As you can see, I can unlock any of these stocks. And then after that, I'll be able to unlock these, I assume. I just keep it the standard stock, just keep it standard, make it very easy. Um, do you choose the chassis type that you want to use? So I've used the launcher, this is why it's the rocket launcher. So no matter what I do with this, it will be a type of rocket launcher. I can go into rifle, pulse and beam in another video. Again, if you would like that, please tell me. So we've gone into stock. Now the trigger is pretty interesting. You can go semi-auto which is obviously firing uh, one shot at a time. Full auto, which is, you know, spraying. But remember, full auto won't work if you only have one rocket. It has to reload each time if you have one rocket in, of course. Two shot burst, again, will not work if you don't have two rounds. Spooling is like wind up and then it fires them quickly. Uh, three shot is three shot. And salvo is uh, hold down the trigger to load multiple projectiles into the barrel and release to fire them all at once. But as you can see, it reduces damage and, and things. It reduces damage and reduces stability. Anyway. I'm going with standard here, semi-auto. Like I said, I haven't played the game in a long time. I don't know what sort of the meta is, what, what are the best things to do. Um, now, as for scope, I can probably go with a slightly different scope here. I'll probably go with laser-guided scope. Well, maybe. So what this is going to do is this is going to... Uh, this When you fire your uh, rocket, it's going to allow you to... As long as you're zoomed in, so as long as you've right-clicked, it's going to allow you to uh, guide your rocket. And um, hopefully by guiding your rocket, good things will happen. Um, you've got remote control that you can do. Now, remote control is pretty nice. It basically um, allows you to sit back and then you can actually look. You actually have like a camera, as it says, on it. You have a camera on the projectile and it will sit on like the projectile as you're going and it will, um, you'll be able to guide it as if you're looking at the bullet type of thing. Not very good if you want, you know, not very good if you uh, are out in the open because you'll be killed, but it's good if you can hide somewhere and you can fire that and, and you know, go halfway across the map and try and kill somebody. Pretty fun to play, um, but 
maybe not useful in every situation. Alright, so let's go to um, Barrel. Okay, Barrel's pretty simple. You can have a normal cage. Normal, as you can see. My rocket inside looks pretty cool. You can go with a triple barrel, which gives you a nice big magazine and things like this. Uh, a nice you know, big clip, I suppose. You have for three smaller rockets that you can fire. I personally don't like this. As you can see, I've called my rocket heavy hitter for a reason. You can go with the tube. Now what the tube's going to allow you to do, it's going to allow you to reload quicker but it's going to uh, reduce the blast radius so it's more of a controlled explosion but it's going to allow you to you know, reload quicker. I use heavy which does, which has an increased blast radius but reloads slower. I may well consider going to the tube here because I'm just looking at it here. The increased blast radius is fantastic but uh, the rocket speed is, is pretty pretty shit so I may well move up to here but anyway then you've got double barrel which is two barrels as you expect quad barrel four very small ones now the double barrel is actually not too bad penta barrel and hexa barrel you, you know you get the picture yeah so I think I'll just stay with the heavy for now I like the heavy um, and that works well we can go and look at the the ammo type. Now you can see here you have slug which is standard. You have Tesla and uh, it's doing more damage because it's going to like electrify people close to where it's uh, exploded basically. You've got health which is going to heal as you expect. You've got pyro which is going to burn them and it's going to do damage over time. I could consider going with Pyro. Um, I will actually go with Pyro here. So yeah, let's go with Pyro seeing as it's going to be a heavy hitter. Now as you can see you can choose your different types. You can have Normal. You can have the Agile which offers high maneuverability, a slight boost to damage. But it's not offering me a slight boost to damage because I've gone with a heavy hitter. Go with Corkscrew which fires a rocket that will spiral as it's flying in the air. Quite interesting. I go with super slow, very slow, but a lot of damage. I personally like that. You can fire it like a, a lob, like a, a, a mortar. Turbo, which is very fast, but a lot of, you know, very, very, uh, well, a lot of reduced damage. Wave causes the rockets to spiral so yeah it seems reasonably similar to the corkscrew but not exactly of course then I have some that I haven't unlocked you can actually knock a, a mortar you know scuttle so as you can see they will bounce over the ground for a short distance and super scuttle goes very fast and bounces over the ground then you have your um, your type. I've got impact. You can have bouncing rockets, sticky rockets, and rebounding rockets. Bounce several times. This one will bounce when it hits the surface, and then explode. So this bounces once. This bounces multiple times. This is sticky, and I use the impact one personally. Then you can have whether it's going to be a contact. So it's going to explode as soon as it hits the surface. Manual, you can detonate it when you want to. Proximity, um, explodes when enemies come near it. And then a timed one, which will explode after time. Then you have the dispersal. You have explosion, which is normal, as you can see. You have cluster, which makes the... Ex uh, the which makes the rocket explode into six cluster bombs that spread out, fall on the ground. You have flak, sends a sp small spray of explosion in a wide area, causing damage over time. And then you have like quad cluster and extra wide cluster. 
So that's that. Um, I will hop into a a test and show you what's going on here. And then what I will do is I'll run a couple of randoms and just show you some of the random stuff that can happen. So let's test this one that I have set up. Let me just make sure that it's saved. Go into a test here. Okay. So eventually these bots will spawn. As you can see, it's very slow. And there we go. Now obviously, it's a lot better if you decide to actually hit the target. So they both have 50% health. If I directly hit the target, it's a lot better, you can see. There we go. So it's taken me two hits to kill both of those units. If I go outside now and I change from Pyro to Tesla, which is what I, I did use before, I will show you the difference. Yep, she is shaking her booty at me. That is true. See. So uh, it really depends on what you want to do with damage. The, the Tesla can be really good, but it can also be, you know, See, the Tesla can be really good. If, if you can get good bounces, it's very good. So there we go. You can damage yourself. So you could ki end up killing yourself. Like a noob, as you can see. <laughs> so let's go and do some randoms now, just to see what's going on here. Randomize. Okay. So this one's got a recon. Semi-auto. Multiple quad barrel aluminium stock. Let's test this one out. So you see, they bounce. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> so yeah. Not bad. Quite a cool little idea. You can see it's splitting off into multiple, um, multiple sp small clusters. Not bad. Okay. I'll try two more and then we will end the video. Oh. I didn't realize that it would randomize. We're not doing beams or anything like that for now, guys. Okay, let's try this one. So this one looks like it has quite a nice little, um, Quite a nice little setup. Oh, that's doing a lot of damage. It's doing a lot of damage, but it's not really splashing too much, I notice. So what this bio scanner allows you to do, as you can see, is it's giving you the option to to see what's going on with the health of the units. You can't just openly see the health of the units until you actually hit them, but with the bio scanner you can see this. So yeah. Interesting. Okay. Final one. It's going to troll me a little bit here, isn't it? Because I'm going to want a launcher each time and it's going to troll me. So this is a... This is a oh, goodness. Well, this one's going to be super interesting. Let's see what this is like. Remote controlled. I'll get to show you the remote controlled. So this one is designed... If you want to be a little pussy and you want to hide, you can set this going. I failed there. My mistake. Sorry about that, guys. As you can see. See what it's doing? It's placing little proximity mines. And then obviously if an enemy goes into the proximity, which unfortunately I can't show because uh, the enemies don't move here, but if I can try and place one 
closer, which I unfortunately can't because I don't use remote control too much, so I don't have a clue. There we go. There we go. You see how it is. Really, um, it's designed for you mining an area and then people come along and be like, <laughs> they, get, they get fucked. That's what that is. The sticky and proximity work really well because, you know, you, you, you get them with the sticky. Oh, my mistake. Because you get them with the, the sticky. You can stick it onto them and then it'll explode, of course. Quite nice. So, if you want to see more, just tell me. Um, I don't want to let this video go on any longer. Just uh, give me a comment, give me a like, whatever you want to do if you want to see a different type of weapon design. I hope that I can show you more soon and thank you for watching.